This is a project that first um, Brian Silverman, who's behind every implementation of Logo ever, uh, came up with um, called Turtle Art that um, runs in on Mac, Linux, or, or Windows. Um, and it's really geared at just examining and playing with logo programming to make art. And uh, Walter Bender, uh, who co-started the One Laptop Per Child initiative with Nicholas Negroponte, uh, took the code and uh, built on it and spun it off from turtle art to turtle blocks to, to kind of give us a sense as to the larger role that that can serve. So the URL for it is turtle.sugarlabs.org. And when you open it up here, there's a health menu that's available. Let me just kind of resize this window a little bit. I wonder if I can crank the resolution up too. Um, there's the help menu there in the, the top menu bar um, is accessible and it'll, uh, It'll lead you through just the basics of how the um, how the program works, but so it'll explain what your palettes are for. Um, let's create a new project here. So it's different from uh, Turtle Art in that it's a little less clear exactly how the blocks all fit together. But again, it's like Lego, so you can't really click them wrong. So under the turtle here, I get all the movement. And the classic logo start here is let's make the turtle draw a box. And if I click together enough rights and forwards or click it enough times, I can get a box there. And if I'm lazy, and the whole point of using a computer is to be lazy, <laughs> maybe I can um, throw it in that start, but I still still requires me to do that too many times and my fingers get tired. So down here we have um, flow blocks and I can grab a repeat and knowing that a block a square has four sides, if I tuck that forward and right in there, now one square will do that. Now Logo is a procedural lang uh, programming language. So we can take this chunk of, of blocks that make the, the square happen, and we can name it right here with an action block. And if I snap that around it, we'll give it a name more than action to make it clear what that action is actually doing. So when I do there, you'll notice now I have a box at the bottom called square. And with the square, I can, that's now a procedure, and I can call the procedure from other procedures. So maybe what I do is I do a square, and when I'm done with the square, I go right 10 degrees. And then I repeat that from my flow. 36 times. And I get that. So it's a really good environment, you know, as any logo environment is, graphical logo environment is, to start examining um, geometry. And that's how I use it a lot in the elementary level of, uh, of education, teaching elementary school kids how to program with it. Um, but the nice thing about uh, turtle blocks is, in my estimate, it's really approaching, to me, the, what Seymour Papert envisioned as a micro world for children to examine big ideas. And so what I mean by that is, yeah, we can examine geometry, but there's other functionality built in to, to turtle blocks. Um, we, can, we can 
export our work out as an SVG when we're done. So when it runs the procedure again, and I should have added a race so you could see it's actually drawing, but at the end here, it downloads me an SVG. So I'm not limited to that, to, to this programming environment. I can get my work out of the environment. Likewise, I can download the project here and save it out to move it to a different machine. Or if it's a project that you feel is worthy of it, you can save it to the world. And so I was playing with turtle blocks to um, examine the idea of uh, dragon curves, uh, dragon curve fractals. And I watched a by heart YouTube video about how she, she did a really good jo job explaining the algorithm behind um, dragon curves. If you're either doing a zig or a zag. So I taught the turtle how to zig. And then doing that, um, this actually required Walter added um, a block for me uh, to give me an either or, I think, here. Let's see. Yeah, this one of, uh, this block didn't exist until I started in on this project, and he, he um, graciously added a block for me. So now the turtle zigs and zags, and we end up with. Um, an approximation of a, a, a dragon curve fractal. Um, the last thing that I'll kind of hint at in terms of Seymour Papert's idea of a micro world is that there are then plugins that you can add fun additional functionality to turtle blocks. For example, there's a plugin around nutrition. So children using turtle blocks on the OLPC could, as part of their schoolwork, be doing an examination of the nutrition of their diet. There's a Google Maps plugin. So you could write a, um, you know, if you're a teacher, uh, instead of making, you know, the interactive whiteboard just a PowerPoint presentation, you know, write a turtle blocks thing that pulls up your neighborhood and pulls in the weather from Google Maps and displays that in real time through uh, turtle blocks. Uh, the thing that Walter Bender and I are working on with it now is tightening up the um, save to SVG code. It just dropped another um, SVG out for me of, of that dragon curve that it produced. We're working on tightening up the SVG code. He's working on tightening up the SVG code at my request um, and also working on direct export to STL. The reason why I'm interested in and the SVGs is you can import them into Tinkercad, extrude them, and 3D print them. Uh, so again, a micro world to explore bigger ideas. Um, I used Turtle Art, the original uh, version that I, I showed you briefly, but um, this will be better suited because there aren't as many hoops you have to jump through, but when you're when you're done examining, you know, the geometry and have your idea, your head around the geometry, an idea that you might play with would be um, 3D printing those SVGs or the STLs once Walter Bender gets that uh, sewn up and then um, creating tiles uh, yeah. from 3D printed stamps. And I'm trying to find the, the part of my book here. You can create tiles to, to make artwork that you wouldn't be capable of making by hand. Um, so there's some geometry that the SVG was turned into an STL and 3D printed. So we're trying to get that process streamlined so we're, we're directly exporting an uh, STL to, to 3D print. So as JR hinted at, the reason why I'm here tonight is to drum up um, uh, drum up support or um, interest in running a, a paid workshop where we would examine ideas like 3D printing our designs or um, the latest thing. The 3D printed designs are great, you know, because you can stamp them and kids can easily work with the stamps. The latest iteration on that project was actually using an epilogue laser um, to 
uh, to etch rubber um, with the, the turtle block design to make rubber stamps. Um, and then you can explore geometry on the paper and, and make uh, Mother's Day cards like I did. Um, so if you're interested, uh, um, please sign your, uh, your email up on JR sheet there. And as we get the numbers in of people interested, we will certainly keep you in the loop. And in the meantime, please experiment with turtle.sugarlabs.org. Thanks for your time. Do people have any questions? Um, Just yell it out, it's fine. Yeah. My son um, worked on Scratch mm -hmm. for a while, and yeah. it looked similar. Yeah, same metaphor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So if he knows Scratch, he knows how to move a character around, a sprite around on the, on the, on the world, he'll understand how the turtle works. Uh, I saw you had a book. Did you want to show us yeah, the book and tell us yeah, who yeah. should so, get it? And um, this just came out this month. It's the Invent to Learn Guide to Fun, put out by CMK Press, and it's 13 projects that have all been tested in workshops or in um, classrooms, K to 12, um, in homeschool environments, uh, but different projects that um, really focus on hard fun where you're learning um, best if you're being pushed a little bit farther than what you're currently capable of and you're um, reaching out into the, the community, whether it's the classroom you're in or the workshop you're in, or whether you're asking online. Um, these, these are all great projects that scale, as I say, from the age of eight to 88. So if you're interested in, it, in seeing this closer up, they did a beautiful job on it, it's, uh, full color, step-by-step -step instructions on all sorts of bizarre, wonderful projects. Sounds like a summer to-do list. Other questions about turtle art in general? Um, yeah. Is there any way to uh, 